It is important that you always take off and land into the wind. Fortunately, most airports have indicators that help you determine the approximate wind speed and direction with a quick glance. The three most common types of wind direction indicators are the wind sock, the wind tee, and the tetrahedron. Like a weather vane, each of these three indicators swings with the wind. The wind sock is a large funnel-shaped device. The large open end faces into the wind. Some of that aviation lore we promised you says that you should think of the airplane taking off and landing from the small to the large end of the wind sock. That would equate to flying into the wind. The wind T resembles a small airplane. The vertical stabilizer serves to make the wind T weather vane into the wind. So you should take off and land the same direction the wind T is pointing. The tetrahedron resembles a flattened pyramid. The narrow tip of the tetrahedron points into the wind. By far, the most common of the three is the wind sock, but you'll soon be able to discern what any of them are telling you. Many airports also offer an automated weather reporting system that broadcasts the current conditions over a dedicated radio frequency. Typically referred to as an AWOS or ASOS, these allow you to get an accurate report of wind speed and direction while many miles away from the airport. You'll find the AWOS and ASOS frequency printed right on the sectional and on the airport information page in mobile apps. If there is no significant wind reported, find out if there is a preferred runway at the airport for takeoff and landing. This will take into account for runway slope, nearby obstructions, and noise abatement procedures, if applicable.